sometimes locomotive models don't always gain the interest of other railroads. Following the failure of the SD90 Max, EMD decided to try developing a less powerful version of the SD90s and plan a successor to the SD70 series. This would lead to the creation of the SD89 Mac, which would be fitted with the existing radial steering trucks, the new isolated cab, 12 cylinders compared to 20, and using AC traction, which had become factory standard since the creation of the SD70 Mac. It had a power output of 4,500 horsepower compared to the SD90's relatively more powerful 6,000 horsepower, which was an improvement in the long run, so in all honesty, it was just an SD90 with less horsepower. One demonstrator was built in a new millennium, and the locomotive proved to be a good performer on test runs. But despite its good intentions and the exceptional performance, no railroads ever ordered these locomotives as there likely wasn't a demand for such engines, or EMD's reputation was in a rough place following the flop of the SD90 Max. Either way, the lone SD89 Mac continued to languish at EMD's Lagrange shops, and was eventually converted to a test bed for Tier 4 technology. But despite never getting off the ground, the technology from the SD89 Mac would later be refined and later reused on the newer and more successful SD70 Aces. So in the end, something came out of this one-off. Sometimes, I think that SD89 Mac is like that one friendly kid that does seem promising and does work hard to reprove himself, but no one takes a liking to him in the end and just forgets him. Man, I can imagine his life is somewhat depressing.